Hey Bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful that you're joining in for some faith fun with me today. So in this video, I will be sharing seven ways to use the Happy Planner Faith Layout. And if you're like me, you guys, and you want something new, something fun to do, then this video is definitely for you. Or if you're a newbie and you want to get into the faith planning journey, then you don't want to miss this. So stay tuned. Okay, Bestie, so before we jump into the seven ways of how to use the Happy Planner Faith layout, I thought it would be a good idea to actually break down the layout just in case you've never seen it before. And so it is broken down. The Happy Planner chose to use the SOAP method. So we have a scripture reading plan and keywords. We have observation and we have an application section. And then we also get like a little sidebar with blessings for the week and a gratitude space. And then also where you can like write your write your topic and so that's the traditional layout this comes in all colors and sizes and so i'll pull out my palette g2 just to show you guys how to use it but the first way to use it is actually how it's designed and that is the bible study method now i'm gonna just write bible study method instead of soap because there are several different ones out there you guys um i remember when i was first learning how to use the bible well like actually study the bible um, the SOAP method was one that just kept popping up and it stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So that's where the P comes in. So you don't necessarily write the prayer on this layout, but you can. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later. But the Bible study method, what I like to do is go in and actually find like a scripture that I'm loving or a chapter that I'm loving and find some key points and keywords. And that's what I will write in the little checklist space. And then as far as the observation section, I will go in and I will write out what I actually took away from it. So I'm actually going to be writing this out, you guys. So I pulled out my little, um, my tablet here and I pulled up the Bible app and I just chose um, the Psalms one. You know, it's a good scripture to start with uh, if you've never, you know read the book of psalms before psalm one is one that i really like it i love it that it talks about the tree planted by the rivers of the water so i chose that one so i always write out the scripture or chapter that i'm reading and then once i read it i write out some keywords that spoke to me and then like i said in the observation that's where i get a little bit more detailed now let me go back to the bible study methods you guys there are several different kinds okay like you can go on pinterest and literally a lot of them will pop up and some of them are catered to actual scriptures and some are more so catered to chapters or books of the bible but just a few that i did find while you guys watch me you know break down someone um is the Acts method and X stands for ask chapter think and scripture and so you can still use this layout in that format like you can write out the things that you're asking for in the little key points and then break down something like read the chapter and then break down what you're thinking what comes to mind and then you can actually write out the scripture too or you can do the word method which stands for write observe relevant and declare and so that would be writing out you know the scripture observe what you observe from it and what you got relevant and then you can write out a declaration too or you can just do choose to say the declaration and then you have the reap method and i thought this one was interesting also and it stands for read examine apply and pray so of course read is you mean, it means to read it and then what you examine like go through it find the things that stick out the keywords the key scriptures especially like if you're reading a chapter or something what sticks out from you and then how you can apply it you want to write that out as well like and that's something that I've learned with using the Bible study method that was so helpful in the beginning of learning how the how to like actually study the Bible was how can I apply the word of God to my life? And one way to apply it, which is why I love this method, is to pray and to pray the word of God over your life. Pray the scriptures. Um, the word is our sword. So 
I just felt like that was just something that you know really really stuck out to me about that method so yeah you guys the first way is the Bible study method and that's all I'm doing here I just decided to write out some things that you know I observed and then things of way I can actually apply it and you know studying the law and how it will help me bring forth fruit in someone like in prosper like that's that chapter talks a lot about all of that so i was just writing this out and i just zoomed in so you guys could kind of see the format of it now one thing i can say about the faith planner layout you do have to be conscious of space especially if you're using the classic but there is a big version also um in the faith planner layout to give you more room Okay, so let's talk about the second way. And this is the current way that I actually use my faith planner for the moment, you guys. But I'll probably switch this up in a little bit because there's another method that's similar to this. And this is the scripture writing method. And what I like to do for this is I love the YouVersion Bible app, you guys. Now, this video is not sponsored by YouVersion, so I don't want y'all to think that I'm like praising them for that. But I absolutely love this app, y'all. I use it every day. I use it so consistently. And um, the the one of the things that I love to, you know, pull up outside of the devotionals is the actual daily scripture. And, you know, you can do all types of fun things with it. You can create um, different graphics and stuff like that if you want to share it with family and friends. But I like to use the daily scripture to get in some scripture writing. And writing is action, you guys. So that's something that I would definitely recommend if you're starting to study the Bible or if you are even, you've been studying the Bible for years, you can never get enough word. Like God's word is a living word. And what you might got the what you might have gotten the first time when you read it, you'll probably get something different the next time. So he's good like that. And so what I do is I write out the scripture and sometimes it can be too long. So I only end up writing out the entire scripture but you'll see in a second when I do another scripture how it was shorter and I'll just use the application part to just actually write out you know what I got from the scripture as well and so that's all scripture writing is you guys writing the scripture out and if you have space write out what you got from it and want, you want to use the keyword space to write in some keywords that stuck out to you from that verse and that's a way to just focus on one scripture at a time um one thing that i've learned from one of my mentors is she told me to you know focus on the scripture for the week and just see how god speaks to you over that week okay so the third one you guys is a word study now i used to use my faith planner this way I would go on Pinterest and I would find a word that I really want wanted to strengthen myself in like an area, a topic that I felt like God was just saying, you know, I needed to grow in and I would find you know scriptures based off of that so here just for example i use the word love there's tons of scriptures in the bible about love like you can literally do a study on the word love and how god loves how he wants us to love you can do that for a while so i just chose love because it was easy um to find some scriptures about that um and this scripture is very short it's proverbs 10 and 12 and um so here's an example of how i would like write out this scripture because it is short and i would just write it in the observation section now typically when i'm using i'm doing scripture writing or a word study i don't follow the you know soap method that's pre-printed normally when i decorate i'll like wipe that out and so i just use the sections to you know my liking but i will still do the same thing that i do with the scripture writing writing in my keywords for this and i'll still write out some type of way to apply it to my life so that's the word study and so you guys i want to want you to follow with me like number one was the bible study method number two was the scripture writing number three was a word study so like a specific topic that you want to grow in that's a great way to really utilize your faith planner um, if you're trying to, you know, strengthen yourself in an area. And so that's all I did here. So, yeah. So now we're going to get into number four. And you guys, this one is similar to the word study. But instead of doing it like for the week or for the month, just for that particular topic, this is more so focused on the day. 
So for example, every day is different. Today might have a different issue than tomorrow or something might be going on in today that you really want to seek God for. And the way you can actively use the word of God is like, okay, Lord, I'm struggling in relationships or like in this instance, I just use, for example, marriage, you know, like if you have a marriage conflict or something, if you're married, of course, um, and you want to go to God and see, like, go to the word of God to see how you need to, you know, handle a situation. This is a great way to use your faith planner and do it on a daily basis. And even if you don't have like an issue, like it could be a great day, a happy day. You can write out a praise, a praise scripture. Um, and then also how to praise him in the bad times too. Like whatever it is that you're struggling with or you're dealing with, you can always go to that in the daily walk section. Okay. So number i believe this is number five and this is devotional notes and this is another way i use the U version bible app you guys they have wonderful devotions on the app and normally when i do it this way i used to do this also um for my faith planner um i would pick like a weekly devotional because you know my planner is a week or a week i guess you could say um, seven day increment so a 14 day uh, devotional or a 21 day devotional or a month long one and I, I tended to stay away from the three three day ones or two day ones but you can do those as well and just keep your planner going um, however you see fit but I would write out the devotional and then I would write out the scriptures that are related to that devotional for the day that's what I would put in the keyword section and then I would go in and write in what I got from the devotional, like some key things, whether it be a scripture or something like a key point that the author made, you know, uh, referencing the word of God, of course. And I would just write out like whatever is speaking to my heart and whatever the topic is and like how I can grow from it. That's what I would write in the observation section. And then much like the scripture writing, once I have like my observation from it, I would write how I can actually apply it to my life. And so this is instead of being focused more so on just one scripture or just like a scripture focused study, this more so, this is more so on a devotional and applicational type way i hope that makes sense for you guys but you can definitely use the devotionals in the bible app or just your regular devotional as well um if you're reading a devotional book a journal or some sort this is also a great way to just jot down some notes that you got from it that day um just so you know like i said writing is action so it sticks with you it really really does and so i enjoyed using the you know the faith planner layout this way okay so number six you guys is for a prayer journal now i have not actually used this particular way because i do my prayer journal a little bit different but i have used a regular happy planner layout to do the prayer journal but you can totally use the faith planner layout as a prayer journal so you can write out just some specific things that you want to pray for or that you are currently praying for um, on that particular day and or it could be for the week as well and so just some different topics if it's a person you want to write their name out if it's a scripture that you want to pray over you and your family or loved ones or friends or community the world <laughs> you know you can write that out in your keywords and then i would just use the last two sections to write out your prayer and like literally write it like a letter to God and just write out, you know, your feelings, your thoughts, where you are. Um, give him praise, of course, in the midst of it all and write out your concerns, you know, just pour your heart out with the pen, you guys. And literally, that's that's all I do. That's all I'm sharing here. It's just writing out a prayer, just saying, you know, Lord, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it can be a prayer of thanks. It can be a prayer of, you know, need, request. You know, the Bible does tell us to go to God and let our needs, you know, make it known to him. And so whatever your heart desires. And I love that you can do it this way, you guys. And all of these methods are like, if you have noticed, I have not used one sticker. Okay, I have not. However, you can throw some stickers in the mix. You can throw some doodles in the mix. You can throw, you know, some quotes in the mix, whatever is going to make you come back to this. Keep doing it. So speaking of that. This is the number seven way and it's micro Bible journaling. Now, typically I have done this in my actual Bible journal. 
you know, some people go all out and they do the whole page. And I've, I've always been kind of nervous about that. But then I've also heard of concerns of people just not even wanting to write in their Bible or they don't have access to a Bible journal. So you can use the Happy Planner Faith layout to do something very similar. And like I said, speaking of stickers and doodles, this is where you can get fun with it. You can get creative with it. So all it is is basically taking um, the scripture writing format or really any any of these formats like the word study one would be great for it as well. But you would just literally take the scripture and you want to write it out. OK, and so all I did was write out the scripture at the top and I'm just going to write out the scripture in some fun lettering and do some doodling around it. You can also use little icon stickers, you guys. And I didn't do this in this example, but I will suggest adding in some color. Um, bring out your color pens your you know, your markers of some sort your favorite ones and just have some fun with the word of God you guys like I love this and I chose John 15 and 5 and so I just did me some little grape doodles and I'm writing out the scripture and here is where I'm like okay you can definitely white out the portions of the you know pre-printed parts of the faith planner that don't work for you and I do that all the time y'all me and white out and my faith planner we go hand in hand and just a little side note I know I'm talking about the faith planner layout but if you have any layout you know you know that you want to use and do some bible study in this works great you guys I promise you using these methods they will definitely you know enrich your faith walk i promise and so yeah i just did some fun lettering y'all and now i'm just gonna draw in me some little vines and stuff just make it real cute you know on the day and i can just i'm i'm looking really i'm looking so forward to like including this into my faith planning going forward because i just really feel like you know this is just what's calling me right now and I'm loving it. So yeah, when you run out of room or well, if you don't if you run out of scripture to write, then just have some fun with some more doodles, make them a little bit bigger and larger. And like I said, you can always add color. So yes, y'all, that's pretty much it for this video. Now I do want to point out though, those are the seven ways, seven ways you can use the faith planning layout. But there is this sidebar. So, for instance, this top little section with the lines, you can write out like if you're doing the word study, um, you can write out the word love there. I just put it in that section so you guys could kind of keep up with what I was saying for each individual way. But you want to put love over there so you know what this actual week is all about or if you're reading a devotional, you want to put that title up there. You can also use the sidebar just as it is like blessings for the week or grateful for the week. How I'm currently loving using it is like a prayer list of ways of people that I can pray for or ways that I can pray for people. And, you know, just asking, being more actively um, inclined with the people around me to say, you know, how can I pray for you? And I just kind of keep up with it over there. So, yeah, y'all, I've really been loving it. I hope you have got a lot out of this video. I I really hope that it has helped you in some kind of way i know for me personally i'm excited to you know dive more into these ways you can switch it up week after week if you wanted to so yeah i'm excited let me know what you guys think below i would love to hear your thoughts so yeah please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching bestie and until next time i love you bye